What is the best version of James Harden that he can be right now? If he goes in the gym this summer, goes in the lab, gets to know the system, whatever it is, what's the best version of James Harden that fans can expect? I think a lot of it <clears throat> comes down to the, you know, his health, uh, the shape he's in. That hamstring injury that he had in Brooklyn last season seemed to still linger at times throughout this season. Um, he's still a fantastic player. And, and if his sort of ceiling right now in that Philly system is 20 and 10, you need to pay him a lot of money. I, I just don't know that I'm comfortable extending him to the Supermax where he's going to be making $60 million as a 37-year-old. Again, I, I go back to you know paying this version of James Harden at this age versus paying the Houston version of James Harden. It's two very different things, and it's two very different players, and that's not to say he can't have an impact on winning because he can. I know you feel like you should pay him the Supermax. I know that's your thing. You should pay him for a while, Pat Bev. Why? Uh, I have a question. Yes, please. Would you say fantastic players? Yeah. He's a fantastic player. Yeah. Who else is a fantastic player? Oh, uh, let's think. Fantastic players. Like, Trey Young's fantastic. Max. Uh, Superman. Yeah, he's Superman. 20. Can we talk about Giannis I, 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 on 20, down? I, I, I'll just keep going so we can speak. I, I know they have. Did you hear my qualifier? Now. Yeah, I did. Of age. He's young. Did, I hear, did you hear my qualifier of $60 million at 37 years old? Yeah. Did, did you, in the first hour, did you hear when I talked about viewing this through an organizational standpoint and having to pay James Harden $60 million I just asked who fantastic players were. I just, There's a lot of fantastic I, players. You named one person. I'm not trying to slander James Harden. There's a big difference. So who, There's a big difference. So I'm saying he's a fantastic player. Who else is? There's 40 or 50 fantastic players in the NBA, and not all of them are on max contracts, and you know that. You know who else is a fantastic player? Chris Paul. Chris Paul's making 30. I think James Harden should make more than him, but he shouldn't be on a super max. No matter how much you fight this, it, does, it still doesn't make sense in your book. And he averages 22, 10, and 8. Great. Almost a triple-double. Great. He shouldn't be on a super max. Okay. He you should go run assists. the 76ers then. You he's, really should. You should go run the 76ers. When you're done, go run the 76ers. He, 22, 10 assists. Not only did he, 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 he got better in assists after, after he left Houston. Yeah, because he, he plays a different role now. So a 22, 10, and 8 guy doesn't deserve a super max? You're going to pay a guy that just had that player performance $60 million at age 37. You're comfortable doing that as a GM and as an ownership group? Yes. Okay. Really? All right. I, well, why, I, so, 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 so speak in a way. Speak to, speak to Philly fans in a way. Because they're looking at it and they're saying, we saw a guy who was under 19 points per game, who didn't seem to show up in the biggest of moments, in the last game took, what, two shots in the second half? We brought him in to be that guy who can be the co-superstar with Joel Embiid. So speak to that point, why that person should get the Supermax. I feel like it's a, it's, when you speak of a team, it's 15, 17 guys. Okay. Right? It's three, I don't know, max, maybe one, two, a little higher than. I mean, we can look at James. We can look at Tobias also. Right. You know, we, can, we can look at different options of it, you know. But the, the question is, do you get James Harden the max, the super max, excuse me? Yes, that's the question. He said fantastic players. I asked who else. He said Trey Young. Trey Young will get the super max. He told me due to age. I, I said there's 40 or 50 fantastic yeah, players. Yeah, and Trey I, Young's one of them. One of them. Chris Paul's one of them. But there's you're a saying lot of he's one of those players. That, that, that's all I'm saying. Okay. I, if he's a fantastic player and then there's 40 to 50 fantastic players and all of them doesn't get super max, half of them do get the super max. He, there, he if we talked about this half. yesterday. Has there been a situation where a guy has signed the second version of the super max and that has worked out for the team? If you can name me one, I'm, I'm besides Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Yeah, one. Steph Curry. Guess who's in the, in the best shape of NBA play, any, any NBA player? Steph Curry. Uh -huh. Guess whose skill set ages better than any, any, NBA, 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 NBA player? Steph, Steph Curry. Curry. Okay? So that's one. And James there's, no other, there's no other, and there's no think, other example. He thinks James Harden. Though. I, I he think James okay. Harden. I, yeah, that, okay. that's my firm belief. All right. One quick question here. Based on what I see here, a lot of people, I'd be quiet about stuff. I just let people talk a lot that goes into it. Keep pushing. What do you expect him to do this summer? What, what will he do? What does he need to do? Respond. How? What is body? What is what is uh, mental preparation? Uh, of course, he hears everything. He's, he he watches everything. He hears everything. He will respond. Will he come back as the vintage James Harden from Houston? Do you it, think? Does the team need that? Mm. Does the team need that? It's, it's you say vintage. I like they did. You say vintage, but he's he's actually playing role. He's actually in a in in in, in, in a Robin role, not Batman. So I'm, I'm asking, what do you guys need from him? If you say scoring, <laughs> if you say scoring, then okay. And, and but what Robin? What Robin is getting a supermax? Uh, James Harden, Robin. Okay. 
Draymond Green. Draymond Green didn't get the Super Bowl. I mean, I, 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 that's you asking who else would. And in my, my opinion, these are guys that you, you can't. You pay, I'll put it out. And Green I got to leave this, this stage subject here. Super Max. But we're not even having this conversation if Joel Embiid is, is healthy two games, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So we're not you even think they would have won the series. Man, if we're not having this conversation. But if, if this, Joel is, this is back to the asterisk talk about yesterday. We can talk about saying. this every series. So every every postseason, there's an asterisk next to everything. So if, we if have they, injuries. So we have bad luck round, every single. So if, if Philly would have went to the to conference final, does he deserve the supermax then? Based on his performance, I'm no, asking. I'm no. asking. No, because Joel's the best player. So, so again, you in the lose, lose then. I, I, I can't say anything and have a chance of winning if no matter what, no matter if they go to the conference finals, no matter if they go to the finals, it, it, Joel's the best player. He doesn't deserve supermax. So I think no that's win. an interesting discussion, JJ. What do you if if if? And I know we're dealing in hypotheticals Pat, here. Pat Beverly, oh, go ahead. the NBA is a results-based business. You know that better than anyone. Collect you are a player over years, not just at that moment. Oh, I disagree with that completely. Okay. I disagree with and that. And I think completely. a lot of people in Philly would take issue with that, too. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.